हिंदुत्व के कार्य में प्रसार माध्यमों की भूमिका इस विषय पर श्री जय कृष्णन जी हमारा मार्गदर्शन करेंगे उसके पूर्व हम उनका परिचय जानकर लेते हैं श्री जय कृष्णन जी आप तमिलनाडु के पी गुरुज चैनल के होस्ट हैं इस वाहिने के माध्यम से आप हिंदू धर्म पर होने वाले आघातों के संदर्भ में समाज जागरण करते हैं मैं उनसे अनुरोध करता हूं कि वे हमें प्रसार माध्यमों की भूमिका से अवगत कराएं महापूर्ण गुलोदूत गोपाल आर्य पदाश्रित श्री श्रीनिवास आरतन गोपाल आर्य महाभजे श्रीशैलेशदया पात्र दीपकदी गुनार यतींत्र प्रवण मंदे रमेशा मातृ मुनि दिस जस्ट अ प्रेयर टू माय गुरुजीस सो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द रोल ऑफ मीडिया इन हिंदुत्व एक्टिविटी आई बिलीव दिस स्टेज द इवेंट दैट इज हैपनिंग नाउ इज एन एग्जांपल ऑफ दैट आई आई एम नॉट श्योर अबाउट द फ्यूचरिस्टिक विजन डॉक्टर अथॉलॉजी हैड बट ई सीम्स टू हैव द सेकंड लार्जेस्ट ब्रॉडकास्टिंग स्टूडियो इन गोवा दैट टू इन अ विलेज सो आई गेस I, I kind of uh, uh, pray, pray, no, put, put my pronouns to him for having a futuristic vision to understand that media should be playing a bigger role in in the two activities. For example, we've been talking about the murder of Sakshi, the murder of Sharda Walker. All of them we came to know about through media only. All right. So the media is already playing an important role in this. We have to acknowledge that as well. so what we have done in pigurus earlier once we had a discussion with ramesh shinde ji about uh, halal jihad i guess not many people i guess there is always a fear in the media to take subjects that are not really uh, they feel it is not really important for them because there's a fear of attack from the other side right uh, first of all your channel will be pulled down there'll be a personal attack on you the lot of things uh it is very difficult for any media in india right now to take on the minority religion activities for example right now we have kerala stories i i i guess we should insist one of the major thing that i have seen in this sanatan is in this organization is they kind of try to emphasize on the fact of kul devata right if you remember the recent movie that has come on this subject is kantara so kantara has become very very popular because people watched it right people like you and me paid the money even if it is 200 rupees 500 rupees we paid the ticket we paid for the ticket we went to the theater we watched that movie and slowly right and then we also have a movie called malikapuram which spoke about uh, swami ayyappa's devotee right how a child wants to go to sabrimala right we have so such kind of movies coming out right now i believe personally that we are on the threshold of rejuvenation of hinduism in india to a greater extent and just as an example i guess it can it can be a coincidence but on this very day on 16th may 1801 there was something called jambudvipa prakaranam jambudvipa proclamation by marudu pandya sagodarargal down south in sivagangai that was the first ever written freedom fighting speech right so we need to understand that maybe it could be coincidence divine intervention anything you want to call but that's exactly what happened almost uh, 200 years back so 1801 was first freedom struggle written proclamation done by marudha sagodargal and why they did it all they did was to save a temple that is a temple called kaliyar koil in sivagangi district in down south tamil nadu they wanted to save that temple so they sacrificed their life two brothers who was fighting against the british they sacrificed their life just to save a temple so the temple ecosystem uh, we've been talking about the temple ecosystem my personal belief i guess why the social media the print media as well as uh, the visual media has a bigger role in playing this is uh, there is a connect between uh, i guess you 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 see a lot of youtubes talking about a temple why it is important why you should go there uh there is an emphasis on in fact paying tributes to our elders paying tributes to people like i guess uh, that is i i recently heard one director has done four movies rather you know uh, four movies on the name of chatrapati shivaji maharaj right he kind of gave his whole life for that movie 
so I guess we have people like that right now. That is a renaissance of Hinduism. And media is taking that. Channels like that is a TV called Sri TV down south in Chennai. And Sri TV is run by uh, somebody called Balagautaman. He takes on jihadis. He takes on missionaries head on. He doesn't care about his life. He doesn't care about the revenue he generates. Uh, all he has is some 75,000 uh, subscribers. But still, he's relentless. And there are people. One thing what we can do as uh, maybe as a Hindu is support the cause. There are people, I guess, uh, it, it might find silly, you, you might find it silly that uh, you've been asked to subscribe, you've been asked to uh, you know, click a like. Uh, it's not just that, I guess it, it, it might be a very simple thing for you, but the reach is maximum. So for example, right now, I'm really happy to represent P Guru's here because P Guru's English has reached three lakh subscribers just yesterday or day before. So we are very happy about that. And I just want to emphasize again that media as such is playing a good role. And we are at the threshold of renaissance of Hinduism in India. And Jambu Dvipa Prakaranam, as I just told you, the Jam Jambu Dvipa proclamation, uh, proclamation is about Akanda Bharat. So when we talk about Jambu Dvipa, it is Akanda Bharat. I guess we want each and every country that we had been, that had been part of India earlier, would come back to our fold sooner or later. Thank you.